Hey everyone, I'm Nick De La Torre with Awaken Catholic and welcome to Awaken the Word. Today we're reading from the Gospel according to Luke. There was a man in Jerusalem whose name was Simeon. This man was righteous and devout, looking forward to the consolation of Israel. And the Holy Spirit rested on him. It had been revealed to him by the Holy Spirit that he would not see death before he had seen the Lord's Messiah. Guided by the Spirit, Simeon came into the temple, and when the parents brought in the child Jesus to do for him what was customary under the law, Simeon took him in his arms and praised God, saying, Lord, now let your servant go in peace. Your word has been fulfilled. My own eyes have seen the salvation which you have prepared in the sight of every people, a light to reveal you to the nations and the glory of your people, Israel. And the child's father and mother were amazed at what was being said about him. Then Simeon blessed them and said to his mother Mary, This child is destined for the falling and the rising of many in Israel, and to be a sign that will be opposed, so that the inner thoughts of many will be revealed, and a sword will pierce your own soul too. It is so easy to lose perspective if we've ever had perspective when it comes to taking our faith for granted, taking the access we have to our Lord for granted. What we see in today's passage is a window into the heart of Israel, the heart of God's people who for centuries were longing to receive and meet their Messiah. And we have access that they wouldn't even dream of to the Messiah. We receive his grace and interact with him in such a profound way in the seven sacraments. He resides in the tabernacle in every Catholic church around the world, waiting for us to spend time with him. But we so easily lose perspective on this if we ever had it at all. What we have in our Lord and in the Catholic church that he blessed us with is such a profound gift. In the Garden of Eden at the fall of man, man and woman were separated from God and we were meant, we were designed to be in communion with God. And that is precisely what Jesus Christ has blessed us with, is a reintegration, a re-communion, a reconciliation with God. My invitation to you is to not take it for granted and to spend every moment of your life being thankful for what he has blessed us with in the church and in the sacraments. I have been Nick. This has been Awaken the Word. And before you go, I just need you to know that Jesus loves you. Peace. Thank you for tuning in to Awaken the Word.